All right, we're out here today. Got the Dodge, got the skid steer warming up. Here's our project for today. It's a mobile home pad. Used to do a bunch of these. We're gonna do runners. Originally, whoever he had to do the does work before, they was gonna put the house long ways and then they decided to change it for land dispute reasons, we'll say. Um, so I was gonna put it right here. From this corner to over here is like 28 inches off. So that'll give you an idea. It's gotta be three or four foot difference between here to up there. So this tree's gonna have to come out. Um, we're trying to keep the house on this side of that orange flag, which is gonna be there to that stick down there. So I'm gonna reshape all this, get a pad pushed in, get it all laid out, pour some uh, runners tomorrow, have concrete out here tomorrow. So we'll get to moving some dirt and then we'll get it all laid out. So I pushed all that brush away from the cedar there. I'm just gonna gouge out all the way around it because it's gotta go way down. And it'll make it easier to push that tree over. I usually don't push timber over with the skid steer. I knew that was the only tree that's gonna to have to go down. So I'm not real worried about it. Uh, but we're just gonna basically just be pushing dirt in front of how many hours. It's gonna be exciting.
got that uh, knocked down. I cleaned up all the roots, most of them. I just feathered them down the hill and rolled them around a bunch, and they're all over there. So I'm going to set this up on a time lapse and um, just start cutting this down. This is 100 feet, so I'm going to try to put the back of the house here, 48, and that'll leave plenty enough room in the front so they can actually get it in here. So we'll go a couple hours pushing dirt. sucks it's a sandstone so it's just gonna be a grind um i'm an hour and a half hour and 45 minutes from the house i can't just run and go get the dozer it's freaking it's cutting up but it's just where the roots have been in there so i'm gonna go get a tape measure and pull 40 or 50 feet and see that machine will do it it'll just take forever i just hope i don't break the track it's getting some pretty big cracks in them so I can't rough house it too much. So we'll get the tape, lay it all out, see where we're at. About three or four in each one of them, so fingers crossed. All right, I saved you some punishment. That, uh, that was pretty painful. That's just all sandstone. I mean, it was like scrape it hard, get maybe a wheelbarrow's load worth. I got it kind of built up. It's going to be close. So I'm going to go get the transit and actually mark the corners from that orange ribbon to that orange ribbon. It's 50 foot. The house is 48. The lot's only 40 foot wide. The house is 28. So I'll get a pull off the fence and center it on the lot and go from there. Um, I got a feeling I'm going to have to cut some more of this out. But um, we'll go get the transit and everything and four corner it, see how bad it is. I'm going to guess it's three to six inches from the front to the back. Looks can be deceiving, but there's no way it's like 28 inches out like the first pad that was here. <laughs> On a, it's 28 inches out on a 30 30 foot width so that's it's like a new record or something so we'll go get uh get all the stuff get it squared up <laughs> Thank you. 
So I got it all laid out. It's that's like where am I at here? Six inches there. It drops off here a little bit. I actually the center of this pad is about six inches. It's about eight on this corner. And then once you go past it, where it falls off too much, it's uh, probably sixteen right on that pole. But because it slopes off real hard, it's supposed to be six foot off the fence. I made it twelve. Um. And I'll probably have to push it over probably two more feet. Put it, yeah, about two more feet. Because right now, 12 and 28 is 40. And that's what we're supposed to be. That's, so that's going to be right on the edge of that property line. He's in the process of buying another, more land or the other lot. I don't know what's going on. It's a family deal. So I'm going to call him, see if he's found out anything. Um, but I'll go ahead and build the pad on up. The problem with putting it six foot off this fence is that's going to be super steep. But um, might not have a choice. So I'll move all this stuff around, give him a call, and uh, may have to move this.
So I got about 30 minutes till the concrete gets here. seven of them so I'm gonna start loading everything up and uh, I'm gonna smooth what I rutted up here 
tune that edge up because I kind of disturbed that a little bit. And then I got to come down here. I'll probably set the uh, GoPro up on top of the machine or something. I got to put a little more dirt right in this area. S smooth this off a little bit and clean that up. And then I'll be loading up, heading home. Got this all smoothed up. I got to move that cedar tree on around to this side because they said they're going to bring a 1480 in right here. And they won't be able to back that double wide around. So I'm going to roll this on around here. I got this kind of tuned up. It's one thing I miss about the mobile home stuff is the stuff you see it must be trash today. They're burning trash in a pickup bed trailer, which is, you know, unfortunately not the first time I've seen that, but it is the first time I've seen them do it with tires on it. So see how that works out for them. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'll push this cedar on around, roll it over, tune out the road up there a little bit, pull the truck down there, load it up and go home. That's the end of that one. Got all cleaned up. Got to work on them locks and that stick over there knocked my cab filter cover off. It's gone forever. Found the filter, but so I have to get one of them. Need to work on them locks too. Getting where they won't. Got to beat on them with a hammer. Um, they're just kind of egg shaped now. Wish this was a little closer or closer wish this was a little further away from the fence could slope that out a lot more but you can't because of the because of that because it'll be in dirt being the neighbor's yard so i go down here and uh tie everything down and head to the house <laughs>